What's up? It is me, Mila. Happy Thursday to everyone. I hope you guys are all having a blessed day. I am here to do my week 20 post-op lap band check-in. Um, for those of you that are new to my channel, thank you so much for subscribing. So I'll just get started. Highest weight, 290 pounds. Um, joined the gym October 14th, 2011 at 284. And I was banded February 3rd, 2012 at 240.5 pounds. Last week I came in at 197.8, I think. And this week I'm coming in at 197.4. So those are the numbers, um, and I'll just get started with my update. Well, okay, so I finally got my fill. Yay! I finally got my fill. I got my fill on Monday, and so I am up to three cc's in my 10 cc allergen lap band. Um, those of you that have been following me, you know the, the ups and downs with my fills, so um, that's kind of the focal point of of my update. So the fill, it was rather interesting. Um, I don't know why, I don't know what was causing it, but for some reason, um, when I got to my doctor's appointment, I lost my marbles. I was having the worst anxiety attack. Um, for those of you that are familiar with my story, you know that I do have anxiety. I suffer from anxiety, and it comes on at the worst times, and sometimes it comes on for no reason, and for some reason, it came on right before I was about to get a fill. So I was losing my marbles. I was just, I felt like everybody was staring at me. I mean, I don't even know what was going on with me, but needless to say, it was the worst worst doctor's appointment I've ever had. So it, what seemed like forever, they finally called me to the back and I was in the room for a long time too and so my anxiety just kept building up. And I don't know if I was scared of the fill, as I had mentioned before, if I was just nervous about it. I'm not sure what I was feeling or why I was feeling it, but I was just Ugh, it was horrible. So finally, after a long time, the doctor came in, and um, we just started to talk a little bit, and um, he put my mind at ease. He, as soon as the doctor came in, he said, oh my gosh, Mila, do you realize what you have accomplished? And I'm standing there bummed out because, according to their scale, I had gained a couple of pounds. And... Um, I was like, really? You know, and he's like, I cannot believe the progress that you have made in eight months, four months that I've been banded. He said, you've lost more weight than some of my patients that have been banded for a year and a half. You've almost lost 100 pounds in eight, in eight months. Like, you should be happy about that. And, you know, I told him, I am happy about it. Don't get me wrong. I am happy about it. But because I was a fill behind, um, I was also weight loss behind. I feel like I, because um, I was steadily losing about 10 pounds a month. And the last two months that I hadn't had a fill, I had lost maybe 13. Which I know it's still progress, but, you know, when you expect to be somewhere and then you're not. So, anyway, um... But it was good. It was good. You know, so he starts to tell me that I, I start to ask him because I hear everyone else say that their doctor has told them what he expects of them, their weight, everything like that. And I hadn't gone over that with my doctor. So he basically I basically ask him, where where is it that you would like to see my weight? What's your vision? I know what my vision is, but I have never talked to him about his for my for me. So he tells me like this. He says, when you came in at two, I was 265 when I went in for my consultation with him. Um, he's like, when you came in, you were at a BMI of 44 or something like that. He's like, you're at a 31 in four months, Mila, four months. You're down that many BMIs. Um, he said, my goal for my patients is to be at a 30. He's all, that's really what it is. He's like, you see a number on a scale, which I get. He's like, but I see a healthy BMI. Um, I see that one point less and you'll be free and clear of, you know, um, diseases and all this other stuff. And he's like, I really can't ask for more. He's like, I don't want to see my patients at a 24, 25. He's like, I don't want to see them at an unhealthy weight. I want to see them doing well and just healthy. So it really, it felt good to hear that. My goal is 154, according to the height and weight chart, 154. So that's what I'm trying to reach for. But it just put a different perspective on things. That all the while that I'm staring at a number on the scale, I need to stop and realize, like, I was 290 pounds. I'm 197. And I'm healthy-er. And so, you know, 
one day at a time, one pound at a time. So anyway, so when it came time to get my fill done, I was already feeling a lot more at ease and the fill took what seemed like forever. He could not get the needle in. So then I started to freak out thinking, what the heck, what's going on? And so apparently my port is tilted. I guess he said it's not a big deal as long as he can get to it, but it took him a really, really long time. So that kind of freaked me out thinking, am I going to have to have revision surgery? Da, 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 da. And he just said, nope, just, I know where it's at. I wrote it on the chart. Hopefully the next time you come in, we won't have a problem and we'll just go from there. So of course, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, what if, what if, but it is what it is. So anyway, so with the fill, I have, it's such a different feeling. I feel so, so different. Um, I do feel restriction, but I'm scared. I feel, when I eat, I feel like the food just stays on the bottom of my ribs, and I just have a tight, full feeling all day. I'm weighing out my food, I'm measuring it out, four ounces, and... I don't know. I don't know if I'm eating too fast, eating too much, but it's scaring the crap out of me. I just do not like the way it feels. I feel um, just stuffed all day long. And so um, I can drink water and I'm not peeing or doing anything crazy. So I know that I'm not overfilled, but I guess I'm just because I'm not used to feeling restriction. I, it just, it's kind of freaking me out a little bit. So I'm just trying to go back to basics and go through the liquids and the mushies and things like that. So hopefully within a few days, I'll start to feel a little bit better. Um, but right now I'm kind of scared to eat. I looked at the cottage cheese earlier, which is a big staple of mine and I didn't want to eat it. So we'll see. But, um, so anyway, so it's just a matter of getting used to the band. Um, I know that the reason I'm at 197.4 today, even though it was 197.8 last week, was because after the last video, I just, I was a free-for-all. Pizza, ice cream, you name it. I just went to town. And, um, it was a bad weekend. And I'm going to sum it up to this, baby daddy. So, um, it was a stressful weekend with Father's Day and everything like that. And so I, my son wasn't with me and I just, I just went to town. I went to town. So, um, I am thankful that I have lost the weight that I gained during the last, since the last time I made a video, but, um, it's just, it's, it's a hard one. So, um, We'll see. But anyway, so other than that, that's kind of where I'm at. I don't have a whole lot to report. Um, just kind of getting used to the fill, seeing how it goes. Um, and yeah, so we'll see. So anyway, I hope that you guys are all having an amazing day, a blessed day, a blessed week. Thank you so much to everyone that continues to give me their love and support. And to my new subscribers, again, thank you so much for joining me in my journey. I'll go back and subscribe to your um, channel if you make videos and follow you along in your journey. I hope you guys are having a great week. Take care. God bless. I love you all. Bye, guys.